Dr. Korn, the FDA has just given approval for ONAs. Why is that important for patients? We're very excited about FDA's approval of ONAs and believe that it's very important for patients because it will allow patients with acute lymphoblastic leukaemia who've become allergic to a core component of their chemotherapy to continue with their chemotherapy and have what is potentially a curative chemotherapeutic regime. So how common is ALL? Acute lymphoblastic leukaemia is a very rare disease, but interestingly, it's the most common cancer of childhood. There are about 3,000 new cases in children in the US every year, and most of those cases affect children who are under the age of five. So what's the current standard of care for ALL? Over the past 30 years, clinical researchers have devised complex chemotherapeutic regimens that are resulting in more than 80% survival in children with acute lymphoblastic leukaemia. Now, an important component of these complex regimes is a drug called asparaginase. Now, unfortunately, 15 or 20% of children who are treated with the standard asparaginase develop an allergy to that drug. The standard component is derived from a bacterium called E. coli, and patients can develop an allergy to the fact that it's from E. coli. Our asparaginase is from an entirely different source, and so people who've developed an allergy to E. coli can take it without having any allergic symptoms. But all drugs come with side effects, and presumably ONase is no exception. That's true. ONase, as all drugs, has side effects. The most frequent are allergic reactions, pancreatitis, clotting disorders, raised liver enzymes, um, some nausea and vomiting, and sometimes problems with blood glucose. In addition, some patients uh, can't take ONAs if they've had a previous allergic reaction, or if they've had pancreatitis or clotting disorders with other asparaginase enzymes. However, everyone in the field has agreed that the risk profile here is far outweighed by the potential benefit to the patient who can complete their course of asparaginase therapy, which is an essential part of the chemotherapeutic regime for uh, acute lymphoblastic leukaemia. Dr. Korn, will ONAs be an expensive therapy for these children? Well, ONAs is a biological agent. It's an orphan drug that's used to treat children with cancer. We estimate that only 450 to 600 patients a year will be eligible for the drug, and in the majority of those patients, they will only need to take a single course. What you must remember is the cost of developing a drug and of manufacturing a drug is more or less the same, regardless of how big the patient population that that drug will serve. So in the case of ONAs, which is serving a very small population of very sick children, the costs of developing it are really very little different from the cost of developing a new agent in, say, hypertension. So what does all this mean for USA Pharma? Now, USA has made a significant investment to bring this drug to US patients. And with the FDA approval, which we warmly welcome, we will be able to continue our investment, not only in ONAs, but in other treatments for rare diseases, particularly the rare diseases of childhood.